Hello there guys, it's Math Dominus, and today we're going to be taking a look at Gamera the Guardian of the Universe. This figure was made by Bandai for their movie Monster Art series and it's based on his appearance in the 1995 film Guardian of the Universe where he basically rebooted the entire Gamera franchise because up to that point Gamera was basically kind of a Godzilla ripoff. But thanks to the Heisei series, Gamera kind of became his own thing, you know? Yes, he's still kind of Godzilla's competitor for what Marvel is to DC, Godzilla is to Gamera, but he's actually got his own identity now. He's got all sorts of powers. He's able to fly, he's able to be a plasma, he's also able to cut his own arm off and then throw a falcon punch and regenerate. It's just, this guy is absolutely cool. I love Gamera as much as I love Godzilla. Then again, most Godzilla fans became Gamera fans because, you know, competition. But anyways, with enough talk about Gamer himself, let's actually take a look at the toy, shall we? Now, in terms of sculpt, he looks amazing. That's a lot of detail. It's just, wow, he actually looks like he's made of rock, even though it's made of soft vinyl. He's also got a lot of wrinkles, the detail on his eyes and stuff. Wow, he looks extremely nice in that tail. <clears throat> yeah, he's also got one, two, three, four, five, five toes. That's amazing. Because, you know, usually they would be four or three, but no, five toes, you know, because that's natural, not cartoonish. But yeah, also in terms of the paint, he's got nice brownish tint to him on the bottom of his shell. Even though he's mostly painted black or kind of like a grayish black, but his toes are painted and they look really nice. Yeah, and so are his fingers. His fingers are also... Uh, Pretty much painted really nice. Uh, if the camera can zoom in on those fingernails. Yeah, look at those fingernails. They are painted really, really nice. And, oh boy, look at his beautiful, cute head. You can see the inside of his mouth looks extremely nice. Nice paint on the mouth and the teeth. The teeth look amazing. Most Bandai figures, the teeth are a bit sloppy. But this guy, he's got some really nice teeth. And the tusks... He's got look amazing. I mean, wow. But most importantly, his eye. I mean, just look at his eye. Wow. It's it's really nice to look at. It's got a lot of detail and it's painted really well. He actually looks like he could be one of the suits that they used. Now, besides painting and sculpting, what about articulation? Well, you can uh, move the arms like so. Ugh, you can also move the legs like so all the way it's a little hard but you know all the way yeah and you can also move the tail now unfortunately you can't move the head that's like one of my only cons for this figure i mean it would have been nice if you could move the head but you get what you get but it still looks pretty nice Overall, this figure is really good. If you're a Gamera fan and you're looking for Gamera figures that are not highly expensive, then I'd recommend this guy because, you know, he's cheap, he looks nice, and he'll fit in well with your collection. I should probably take this tag out, though, because this did kind of interfere with the review. But then again, this uh, tag kind of looks nice on him. It makes him look like he's... An official toy, you know, because most people like to keep the tags on. So, you know what? I'm going to keep the tag on mine. And, yeah, I don't really have much to say. This is a really good figure. I highly recommend him. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Wow, I don't think I'll have to edit this video, don't I?